My name is uh, Sean Holmes. I'm the men's soccer coach here at uh, Drake University. And today I'm going to review uh, Outcast United, a refugee team in American town by Warren St. John. And uh, I'll show you a picture over here. The reason I chose this book is that as the soccer coach here and uh, a voracious reader, I had uh, probably 20 or 25 people over the course of a month come up to me and say, you have to get this book. It's about soccer. There aren't that many American books about soccer. You have to read it. So when I uh, found it at my local bookstore, uh, they, there you go. They've got a picture of the soccer team right on there confirming that it's indeed a soccer book. And in fact, the British version of this book has a lone African boy wandering a field with a soccer ball to reinforce the fact that it's a soccer book. And uh, I sat down to read it. I, I finished it in a couple of days. And the reason I chose it today is that, in fact, it is not a soccer book. Uh, it's really much more a story about uh, integration of immigrants. Myself, being a Canadian, I'm true and true to my heart. Um, a story about a uh, small group of uh, Africans, Asians, kids from all over the world who show up in a suburban town outside of Atlanta and a American-educated Jordanian woman who uh, brings the community together and tries to, to create a soccer team. Now, uh, if you're a soccer coach, if you pick this book up thinking that it's going to teach you something about soccer, it's in fact nothing of the kind. Um, most of the methodology and most of the psychology that the coach uses is uh, uh, rustic at best and probably wouldn't be approved uh, by any uh, coaching instructor. Um, and uh, she seems to have taken her life lesson was from a junior high uh, basketball team she played on in, uh, in Jordan and tries to translate this over to soccer. And in fact, the, uh, the repercussions for her are uh, somewhat odd because the kids uh, have come from generally an unstructured background, have been through all kinds of uh, uh, difficult challenges coming from Afghanistan and Sierra Leone and all over the world. And uh, the, the, the book sort of traces the, uh, the development of this group. And this is where it becomes sort of an American story. There are the requisite uh, nasty sheriff in the town who uh, chases down people of color. There's a um, uh, old time old-timey uh, mayor who doesn't want to eat at any of the ethnic restaurants in the town. There's only one place that can make a good burger these days. And he protects to the very, very end uh, the one piece of playable grass in the town, sort of the common green in the middle of the city, and says it's reserved for baseball and football, when in fact there are no kids playing baseball or football in that town anymore. And it's sort of how, how they go back and forth and how the, uh, the older whiter population of the town is dealing with this new, younger uh, group of people of color coming to town, uh, you know, stealing their jobs in the heart of NASCAR country, which, of course, no American ever appreciates. Um, the, the reason, the second reason I picked the book is, uh, and I do this with almost all uh, authors and all uh, musical artists, when I find someone uh, that I think is good, then I'm loyal almost to the very bitter end. Uh, I'll follow a bad album after a bad book to, to trace their sort of development. And when I find them somewhere during the middle of the process, I assume that I just wasn't paying attention. I go back to their back catalog of music or books and buy everything up to, to catch up on them. And uh, Warren St. John, the author, uh, is a young guy, grew up in the South, grew up in Alabama, and his first book was called uh, Rammer Jammer Yellow Hammer, uh, which was kind of a notable book in the New York Times and was about the uh, tailgating fan culture of Alabama football, or the Alabama Crimson Tide, something that had absolutely no interest in, but was an interesting book. So I thought he might convey some of this, uh, some of the culture, the culture, the interaction, the battle of cultures that happened in this town. It was a good book, but not a great book. Somewhere I saw it reviewed as a five-star book, and I can't give it a five-star. But it's an interesting story. What left me kind of empty and disappointed was that uh, the star of the book, the protagonist, is uh, Luma Mufle, the, the Jordanian woman who's the coach. And uh, as the book progresses, she goes from uh, running, uh, she goes bankrupt running her own cafe. Then she uh, starts employing the mothers of the kids as, um, as uh, cleaners. They do hotel and has cleaning. And all along, there's almost nothing about her personal life. The book is about her, yet it's not about her. So in the end, uh, the, 
the subtitle is appropriate, A Refugee Team in American Town. It's about how we deal with it, whether it's in Sioux City, Iowa, or uh, Perry, places where you have huge influx of immigrants, whether they come from Latin America or from Bosnia or wherever, that this is sort of the new challenge of, of the new America. How do you absorb these people um, and integrate them and not just kind of shove them into pockets of your town and hope they go away? So a good read, uh, interesting to reflect about where America heads as we progress through the 21st century. Thanks. Hope you enjoy it.